Hey guys, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. So I will be going to the Electrify Expo in Long Beach on June 3rd in the afternoon. Um, and it's a funny thing because I actually applied for press credentials and I told them I run this uh, YouTube channel. And shockingly, they gave me press credentials. I was, uh, I was shocked actually. Like I didn't realize I was now press. But I guess I am, according to them. So they gave me press credentials, and they um, g gave me the digital press kit with assets from some of their exhibitors. So I wanted to just go through them with you. Um, so first, obviously, I'm going to go through Aptera's. So here's here's Aptera's uh, press kit. Now they didn't tell like I'm pressed, and I'm supposed to release this, and they're expecting me to, to release this. So I don't think that that's a that's a problem. So I'm going to, let's see, how do I do this? Oh, here we go. All right, so this is their new trifold brochure that I think this is the brochure that they're going to hand out at the Electrify Expo. So this is the outside and this is the inside. So let's look at the things that Aptera is thinking is, is uh, important for them in terms of marketing their vehicle. So they're showing a thousand mile range so i think this is a great marketing ploy because you know people see that and they're like wow a thousand mile range that's crazy we've had several videos on this channel talking about the practicalities of that um you guys know my feelings about it. it's a little bit of a marketing gimmick i think but you know there's there's gonna be a few people with a use use uh, case scenario for it um and then there's a few i noticed a few typos in this so i hope they fix it before they actually do the printing but who knows? So join us in creating a greener, more efficient future. They left a space here. And then driven by the sun. And they have a render of Noir, their black app to, uh, uh, alpha vehicle in here. Now, I wish they would have used the new beta render because I think the beta vehicle does look a little bit better. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit more. So aerodynamic design, so we know we know about that. Aptera has this really aerodynamic design which helps their efficiency and it's probably the most important thing of their efficiency. They have the this will be the most aerodynamic production vehicle ever at a coefficient of drag of 0.13. Maybe it's 0.14 now that the mirrors have been added. You can easily take those off if the laws change. Then the skin cooling system. So we know now that the belly pan is the skin cooling system and serves as the radiator. Lightweight composite materials. Aptera weighs 65% less than other electric vehicles today. The body is built with ultralight composites. Its arch shape mimics the physics of an eggshell, protecting you and your loved ones from a safety belt that's seven times stronger than steel. Yes, so the shape of it makes it very strong. And the material of it is very strong. So it should be very safe. At least much safer than people think based on how it looks. And then solar recharging capabilities. It provides up to 40 miles of free uh, charging per day, making Aptera the first vehicle that won't need to fuel for most daily driving. And then efficient in-wheel motors in partnership with Alafe, Aptera offers compact high-torque in-wheel motors that allow for enhanced aerodynamics, lighter overall vehicle weight, improved handling, resulting in better mileage and safety. Okay, then we're gonna go over here. Optimized rolling resistance. Then cargo space, lots of cargo space. The cargo area is, you know, a weird shape because it's tapered down, but it's quite long. And as we know, fits a bike very easily. I fit back there very easily. There was over a foot of space at the end when I laid down in it. Um, and the beta vehicle is four inches longer. And so I think the, the distance from the back of the seat to the back is about seven and a half feet almost um in the beta vehicle that's plenty of space it's a really long bed so i think there's plenty of space in here uh, industry breaking 1000 mile range uh they're saying in this one we use less than 100 watt hours per mile which may be true at like 35 or 45 miles per hour and then all weather capable yep so they are designing it to work from negative 20 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. 
So that is their design parameter looks like. All wheel drive, vectorized, torque control, snow, ice, sand, and gravel are no problem. And then here's their other typo. See, they got the hours per mile. I think it comes from this column and it got transferred over here and they didn't notice it. Um, zero to 60 miles per hour in our all wheel drive clocks in as fast as 3.5 seconds and front wheel drive is as fast as 5.5 seconds. And yes, I mean, from my experience uh, in the test rides, the thing is ridiculously fast, way faster than I need it to be. All right, so I'm gonna just go through the rest of this. If you guys don't wanna slog through it, skip the rest of this video. But I'm gonna, I'm just interested in what this is gonna be. If you guys are interested, hang around. If you see something you like, uh, put in the comments. I'll go make sure I check them out uh, when, I, when I go there and uh, maybe do a quick uh, video spot on them. All right, first up, Kia. Wow, this is a lot of stuff. All right, well, let's look at this. Let's look at the pictures first. This is the Kia EV6, which I think is a nice look. Oh, this, I think, is the new Nero. Yeah, yeah, that's the new Kia Nero. Yeah. So this is like the cheaper, smaller version of the EV6. Okay, this, I don't know what this is. Looks like it's a Sportage, but is that an EV? Huh, maybe they're gonna have a EV Sportage. This is the EV6, I believe. All right, let's see here. Okay, so that's that was a Sorento uh, plug-in EV. Okay, wait, yeah, that's a Sportage. Okay, there's gonna be a Sorento plug-in hybrid. There's a Sportage plug-in hybrid, and then there's the Nero. EV and there's the Nero plug-in hybrid and then there's the EV6 and then of course the GT line all-wheel drive the really fast EV6 all right all right this is the new 2023 Kia Nero I actually almost bought this car the like the 2020 or the 2019 EV uh, e Nero, but it didn't come out in time. I thought it was a pretty nice vehicle, actually. All right, I don't even know what this company this is. Nui. Product media. Let's see what it looks like. Oh wow, they have so much stuff. All right. I don't even know what this is. Let's look at it. Oh, it's scooters. with an app with batteries in the seat. Yeah, they look cool. I feel like scooters. I wonder how much they cost. I'm not really in the market for scooters, but it's a cool looking scooter. Okay, well, that's enough of that. Wait, let's see, did we miss something else? All right, let's look at this, maybe this will help. Okay, so they sell these little, like, like almost kid scooters, but they're adult sized kid scooters, and then they sell these uh, actual, like, like Vespa type scooters. Okay. I'm going to zoom up on these. So they go about 18 to 20 miles per hour. Pretty fast. Range 20 miles to 30 miles. Okay, that's pretty far. You could actually commute in this, it looks like. Mm hmm. Folds. Looks cool. All right. Mm hmm. Look, I want to get to their scooter things. Their actual scooters. Now, this is all about these little scooters. All right. I kind of want to ride these when I go there. I'm going to try to check it out. They look kind of fun. All right. 
All right, okay, not that exciting. Let's go next. Blue Dot Technologies, I have no idea what this means. Oh, okay. This is just some way of accessing all the different charging struct uh, places like ChargePoint, EVgo, all that stuff. Okay, so not super interesting to me. Hollywood Racks. Okay, it's like a it's like a rack for EV for electric bikes since electric bikes are so much heavier. And they lock. Okay. Well, kind of interesting. Handlebar jack. I have no idea what that is. Oh, okay. It's something you put on your... Oh, all right. Oh, okay. I see what they're doing. Okay. It's like a clamp that you put on your handlebar so that when you flip your bike upside down to work on it, it doesn't hurt your derailers and everything. That's an interesting, kind of like it. Depending on how expensive, oh, oh wait, $13? No, 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 those are the accessories. Oh, tool pack is that, okay. All right, so the thing is $29. I wonder if it's for two. Uh. I'm guessing it's for two, because one handlebar jack makes no sense. It's not a bad price. It's kind of interesting. Chrysler. Okay. They're talking about that Pacifica hybrid, which we all know about, and this airflow concept. What the heck is this? Oh, it's like a crossover SUV. I kind of like the look of it. Let's find out about it. Okay, so this is their first all electric in by 2025. Okay, so that is a ways away. All right, so we won't get too excited about it. But kind of looks nice. I like it. And then this is the Pacifica. Uh, plug-in hybrid. They've had that for a while. Stooge race boards. Okay, no idea who that what that is. Let's look at this. Uh, that's just their logo. Okay, I still don't know what it is. Oh, it's an electric longboard. Got it. Got it. High performance electric longboard. Universal EV chargers. Hmm. Uh, I'm not understanding what they mean as a universal charger. I think if it's a just a level two J1772, that's pretty much a universal charger. Oh, I see what they're saying. They want you to rent this thing. Yeah, I don't see why anyone would do that. Okay. Maybe. I don't see any use case scenario for it, but maybe it makes sense to some people. Okay, with Aptera, we've already seen that. Electrical Unicycle Collective. Oh, okay. Yes. These things. Okay, one of you guys told me about these things, and I recently bought one. And that's the toy that I've been playing with. And that's why I haven't been making videos lately. I've been trying to learn how to ride these things. Uh, actually, I got this one. Okay, I'm going to make a video about it um, later. Yeah, the, I, I, I haven't learned how to ride it yet. But I'm, I'm getting there. Indiv. I don't know who they are. Let's look at their pictures. Who are these people? Um... Are they a, ooh, okay, 
Is this their car? Indy EV. Okay, is that their car? They look... Looks cool. I don't know anything about them. Okay, it is an EV capable of in-car karaoke, in-car VR gaming, and live streaming. Hmm. All right, they're totally going after the Gen Z demographic, I guess. The company's first all-electric model and first ever vehicle of vehicle integrated computer capable of high-end gaming content creation, Web3 integration. All right. Base model has a 75 kilowatt battery capable of 250 mile range. Now remember, this battery in an Aptera would be 750 mile range. So this is about a third the efficiency, which is a little bit uh, similar to a Model S, I guess. They're claiming prices start at 45,000. If that's true and this is a decent vehicle, that's not a bad price. Okay, so they were created in 2017. They obviously have not delivered a car yet. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to check them out. Okay, Polestar. We know about Polestar. All right, we'll definitely check them out. Evolve skateboards, pretty self-explanatory. Oh, they're kind of like uh, pretty beefy skateboards. I like it. Carbon chassis, large wheels. They look like they can go off-road a bit. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much these things... I'm not a skateboarder. But this looks nice. Wow. This thing is... 6,000 watts, 6 kilowatts of power. Uh, that's quite a bit. Point 0.6 kilowatt hour battery. And... Third... About 30 miles per hour. That is uh, quite fast to be going on a skateboard. But looks fun. Ceramic Pro. I don't know what these are. Oh, it's like paint. Oh, it's, it's, it's ceramic coating. Ceramic... Uh, coding for your paint job. Okay, Jackrabbit. Okay, no idea what Jackrabbit is. Oh, it's a bicycle. It's a bicycle that you don't pedal. Yeah, looks like just a battery and a hub motor and some pegs. It's like a motorcycle, but a very tiny one. Huh, interesting. It might be fun. Definitely going to ride it. 
Zugo bikes. Oh man, no pictures. You just want to go to YouTube links. All right, well, we'll see what they are. Okay, that's what these things look like. All right, so they're just kind of like, uh, they're the fat tire bikes. Okay. All right, then Magnum electric bikes. Founded 12 years ago. Okay, these are the fat tire bikes as well. Oh, I guess they're, they have all different kinds. All right, electric bike company. Honestly, I wish I would have started an electric bike company a long time ago. I think electric bikes are awesome. All right, there's another electric bike. Looks sort of like a BMX bike with the banana seat. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, I kind of like it. I, I wouldn't buy it, but I kind of like it. Flyer e-bike. All right, let's watch their video. Okay, yeah, it's a nice cargo bike. Uh, 20 mile per hour. Yeah, these are some beefy looking electric bikes. I like it, you know, the two kid carrier and. Well, depending on the price, it would be a nice bike, I think. UBCO, I have no idea what this is either. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, also a, okay, this is a motorcycle. This is not an e-bike. That is a very utilitarian looking motorcycle. It's got a rack in the front, a rack in the back. Oh, okay. This guy's doing some trail work. Adventure cycling. Uh, that must be a very hefty rack. I kind of like it. I wonder what the specs are. Okay, they're calling it adventure, electric adventure vehicle. Okay, I have no idea what the pricing is. Okay, we're gonna find out. I definitely wanna check that out. That looks very interesting to me. And Lexus. Okay, this thing looks like the Toyota B4Z, BZ4X. And also the, um, the Solterra. I think it's the same thing. Okay, so that's, I think this is just the, the Lexus version of the Toyota BZ4X. Okay, that is it. Um, if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, through all that, thanks for watching. Hope that was as interesting to you as it was for me. Um, I just wanted to peruse their press kit. I had no idea about any of those. 
but the uh, Aptera brochure looks pretty nice. I hope they fixed a few of those typos. Um, I will definitely be talking to the Aptera people and getting some information and shooting some video with them if they let me. Um, and then uh, we will check out as many of the other things as we can in one afternoon. Um, Chris Anthony is going to be speaking at a panel that morning. Unfortunately, I will not make it there because I'll be working that morning. Got the afternoon off, but I couldn't get the morning off. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have anything that you want me to check out at the uh, Electri Expo. You can go to their website and look at all the ex uh, exhibitors. There's way more exhibitors than uh, were in that press kit. And so if you see anything that you guys want me to check out for you, I will definitely check it out and report back and make a video. Um, otherwise, thanks to all the my supporting members. And uh, thanks to everyone else who watches and comments. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.